Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 29th through September 4th. And I'll take a look at your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with uh, a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Uh, Kai, Juno. Kids. If she wants to jump, let her jump. It's it to you. She's a jumper. Anyways. Let's see. Ooh. That's how you start me off. That's how you start me off. Actually, looks bad, but it's good. I mean, I think it turned out good. Okay, uh, starting the overall energy, not starting off. The overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Wands. Very passionate movement forward on your side. So this is a good energy you got going on. Uh, I feel like you're following something uh, that makes you feel good, something that speaks to you in some way. Um, in the recent past, the Death card, the Moon, the Nine of Wands. So this is definitely... Um, Ugh, who knows how it came through for you, possibly with a breakup, possibly with who knows how or what kind of loss that was involved here. But this is definitely an energy of something old having to go out, you know, definitely something dying off and then um, a rebirth possibly happened here after this one. Uh, but there's been a lot of rejection on your part, kind of like, I don't want to let this go. Whatever this is, I don't want to let it happen. I don't want to let it go. I don't want to get rid of it. The way the energy shows up, it feels like you knew that this ending was coming, um, but still resistant to it. And again, something that had to happen, possibly there. Because um, again, it, it, it should have led to a rebirth on your part. Now, I don't know what the hell happened. I do see it here though, in the current situation, the Queen of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the Judgment card. Those are good energies, very transformative, very... It could be even life-changing. There's definitely a sense of self-love in there. Um, and a lot of putting yourself first. So very opposite of the, the past energy where you're like, no, this is not going to happen. You know, over my dead body. Um, very beneficial energies here, currently. In the immediate future, the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Tower. Really not wanting to let something go again. Um, man, the universe always kind of comes in and kind of tells you you have to. You know, every time I see the cards, especially in the past, in the current situation, there's definitely almost like a pressuring, like, like pushing you into a corner until you actually give up control. Um, and it's coming through again. There's something that you're showing me here. I don't want to let this go. I don't want to lose this. This is something I'm always going to hang on to. And then bam, something happens. Where this bam, I kind of see like the universe shoving you into a corner. So let's clarify. Kai talks a lot. Uh, Kai, I hear banging. I don't want to hear banging. Because I know you're with the girl. And if the girl bangs, I'm going to bang. Alright. Uh, let's do the Knight of Wands. The Devil, the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles. Man, I love this reading for you. I mean, I, I think it sucks for you. But I love it for you. As the energies come through, because I, I do see the tower, the everything, the kind of like let it go, Cappy. And then eventually when you do, it's like sunshine everywhere. Um, but I know that the actual letting go is hard for you. It has to be difficult for you in the way the energy is coming. There is whatever direction you're heading. Yes, you're following your passion. Yes, it feels good. There's something in there, inside of there, wherever you're heading, um, that you might have to let go of. 
and you're kind of taking it as a whole package like no i'm not letting this go if i let this little part go i'm letting everything go and it's not like that it's just a tiny little bit of an energy in there that has to be like put aside it's not serving you in there um that's why it's kind of difficult for you because again i see you taking it as a whole package which i don't see it as that i see it just a tiny little something from that package however whatever it is that you kind of have to let go here again after that i see this openness towards stability towards happiness towards good times uh you're not going to see it when you're in the damn fight there this reading is is all about that in the past there you had to go through something similar in the immediate future is coming up for you and the current energies are actually showing me that you've got this you know you're working through whatever it is you're working through you're you pretty much got a handle on things you know just this tiny little lesson of releasing control which is not that little um let's do the death card ace of wands king of wands the lovers yeah it might have been a relationship here might have been a relationship that possibly came to an end at some point i feel like that was the beginning of something for you um really felt a lot for it really felt like that was it let's do the moon eight of cups queen of cups six of cups that's the thing because i'm looking at the relationship and i see a lot of passion and i, I kind of get in the direction of is it based on passion and that's it and then right next to it there's a hidden energy which shows me where's the love there's no real love here yes passion full of passion it makes you think like this is it oh my god oh my god oh my god and then when i look at the love aspect it's like hmm was it ever there you know um let's do the nine of wands Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. Your rejection came from the fact, your rejection to letting this go, letting this end, came from the fact that you are hoping that love will come in, that there's going to be a brand new beginning, that, you know, I'll be right here for when things change for the better. And the now was requiring your presence, uh, but you were busy with when things get better, you know, with the future. That's where your resistance came in here. I feel like you'll let it go eventually. Let's do the Queen of Pentacles in the current situation. Ooh. Nine of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Interesting. Because as you do fall more into, a, into an energy of self-love, you're looking back at the past and realizing the times where mm, there was a lack, you know? Um, there was a little bit of rejection, actually, towards it. There, there was a little bit of Oh, I love myself. Ish. You know, kind of. I don't even think you knew at that time. Kind of looking at that from that angle. Like, I thought I put myself first. I thought I loved myself. No. Interesting. We're doing it now, though. Let's do the Temperance card. In the current situation. The Empress, the Hangman, the High Priestess. That's a lot of self-love. Uh, and a lot of nurturing maternal kind of an energy. And you got it. It's like that's what that's what you're working with at this time. And it's beautiful. It opens up your intuition big time. Um, it kind of sets you in that position of really taking a step back and looking at things from different angles before you actually do something. It's it's and very intuitive, very intuitive. It's quite amazing. And it's yours. Let's do the judgment card. Knight of Pentacles, the star of the Nine of Cups. You're kind of approaching your desires, your dreams, whatever it is you want, you're kind of slowly but surely going in that direction. And I feel like you're realizing that, how aligned you are with that path. Um, <clears throat> You're not there yet. You know, you may think you're there at times. You're not there yet. But you're going there. Man, what the hell? 
There's a whole lot of alignment here on your side. Let's do the Four of Pentacles in the immediate future. Four of Swords, the Judgment card, the Justice card. Yeah. I mean, you're trying... There's, again, that energy of having to let stuff, people go, situations go, um, is coming back up for you. And there's been a lot of healing that you're showing me here, where you're showing me I'm balanced, I'm good, I can do this. They're still healing over that. So, yeah, you can do this, but you're still in a process of healing over, okay, I got to release control. Okay, I got to do it now. Shit. You know, kind of a thing. So, yeah, you got this. There's still a little bit of work to do in that direction. Let's do the Three of Cups. <clears throat> Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. There's something that's shown up here tied up to you. Now, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's romantic. I think it's more of a friendship or a family situation. Um, there's definitely a bond here that's shown up, uh, tied up to you. And this is the place where you would have to let something go of. Um, having a hard time with that. Because I still see you at times kind of just going there and, you know, dropping your energy in there and being like, okay, okay, I'm still here. I haven't let this go. I'm still here. Uh, but whenever you do, it comes back with pain. So maybe that's why the universe is kind of pointing you out. Are you sure you, you don't want to release this? I mean, does it make you feel good? What's what's the deal here? You know? Um, hmm. Let's do the tower in the immediate future. Nine of Pentacles, the higher from the three of wands. Yeah. When we have a hard time doing things ourselves, the universe kind of steps in. And sometimes it's coming in as help. Sometimes it's coming in as a pain in the ass. Whatever way we choose to take it and work with it, um, it's not going to feel pretty. However, once the dust settles, there's definitely an energy of uh, even more self-empowerment and like you think you got it going on now, like every little thing that you heal from here on out and every little thing you release that no longer serves you, sets you up even more than where you're at right now, you know? Um, it's looking like a slow process, but it's not looking like it's slow in the sense of, oh my God, how long do I have to wait for this? It's kind of normal you're normal like you're looking at it and you don't feel it as slow necessarily maybe at times getting pissed off at how slow it is but generally i see you accepting the the timing of it how how it runs this energy because you see it and you see it after that's why you're frustrated in the middle of it because you see it after you know the result and where you're at and how you've grown um but there's something there's something that's coming up tied up to a bond you have with someone you may have release you may have to release it or release certain things that concern the situation uh whatever it is pay attention to what the universe is uh, uh saying to you because it's gonna talk you just have to listen uh let's see from the universe four of cups the empress the nine of cups you don't see it these energies that I see here, you don't see them the way I do. You don't acknowledge them the way I do. Like, you're not giving yourself that credit. Like, yeah, I've grown. Yeah, I've learned. You know, yeah, I've developed and changed and all of that. Um, I'm seeing them quite powerful. You don't give them that credit. You're, you're probably like, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, things changed a little. Yeah. Yeah. It could be better. So there's a little bit of you looking at these energies with the sense of, eh, yeah, if you say so, yeah. Okay, uh, they're big. That's all I can say, you know, energetically speaking. I don't know how you would take it physically, but energetically speaking, there's a big ass growth here. Um, you know, at some point, maybe it's a good idea to start acknowledging that and embracing that. It's going to feel real good. But that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.